Hello and welcome back to my channel, Astrobuglas Gaming here. It is time to cash in the Battle Pass. After a, a little bit of an extension as well for two weeks. Uh, I must apologize if I sound a little raggy, it's because I'm ill. Uh, but yes, let's cash in and see what happens, shall we? First things first, we're actually going to have to buy it. Which I still have neglected to do this entire time. Uh, Alright, and 87 rewards. Okay, um, I've already got a 75% booster. Let's see uh, what it ends up being. And this is why it's worth not cashing it in. Wait until the next battle pass starts, or just before. Buy it, cash it in. I think I've broken the game slightly, but um, and no, this is this was also a new feature that's been added now. You can collect all your rewards at once, and watch your game completely and utterly have an attack of some kind. <laughs> well, uh, yes, whilst this is perplexing itself with, <laughs> whoa, yeah, and lots of silver too. Oh yeah, I guess I don't need to worry about only having 250k now. Yeah. Uh, I remember after the merge I had uh, nearly two million or so or like a million and a half and I spent so much of that very stupidly on upgrading loads of guns to tier 5 I didn't use half of those weapons ever again like it's just sat there just waiting to be used and now half the player base plays a uh, low BR anyway so you know we're just gonna see it. anyway it seems to have finished uh, so 12 Plus three, plus twelve, plus three. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe when we jump out of screen, we can see how many. But that's um, uh, two hundred soldier performance. Okay, so we can make uh, several squads look really silly, um, especially if there's new items and new battle pass. I'm good to go. Um, and uh, the other thing, two gold weapon orders. So when the new battle pass comes out, I think that brings my total to five. Uh, gold weapon orders, so I'll be making a video on new golden weapons. Or it, pardon me for that loud clap. Um, or at least the ones that I want to get. Um, let me know in the comments, actually, you guys, if you think I should uh, save gold orders and go for like um, uh, five squad of, uh, I don't know, like uh, the Condors MG, for example, and I have an entire squad of Condors. Um, or you, you know, list down in the comments. What what do you think? What's you, if you have a gold order squad of just gold order weapons? What's your best one and why? Let me know, please, uh, because I'm curious to doing this. It's something similar myself, but it's gold. I don't want to be wasting it. You know. That being said, um, I have wasted it several times over, and I have a couple of gold order weapons that I just kind of bought. I bought the artillery Luga because it was li going thinking stupidly that it was a fully automatic yeah go me I'm an idiot yeah I know thank you thank you very much I know thank you um, yeah so I'm a little miffed and I, I, I just gave it to a soldier and occasionally use it so really I only like buying gold old weapons that I'm actually going to use um, the other ones yeah I'm a bit of a collector but you know yeah I'll, I'll choose something that I want over something that's just a collector's item any day of the week and of course the most important item we have is the hat with ear flaps. Um, I think I would die uh, if I didn't receive this. Yes, sincerely. Uh, yeah, so let's see what the bonus is in total. And I've still got like a little bit to go to maybe get some extra boosters of <laughs> one day left. Exclusive portrait, yes, blah blah blah. And it stands at 625%. I could have gotten higher had I been religiously playing this game eight hours a day or something like that but um, I simply don't have the time to do that and uh, yeah you know maybe in the next battle pass I'll do this again hopefully uh, I'll be able to get more gameplay in if I can't then I'm just not gonna bother uh, but if I do you know manage to get several weeks of um, good in we'll see if we can get that uh, XP booster above a thousand percent because I have seen many people do that as well, and that's why I wanted to do this as well. 
And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and jump into game, finishing off uh, the research for the Germans. Finally, it's only taken me several years. I've done all the others, uh, all the way up to tier 5. Oh, pardon me. And um, I just want to finish off the Germans. I, oh, I do have a little bit left to do on the Soviets. KV1 has. But um, yeah, we'll just jump in. I want to get that sniper. And hopefully in this one battle I'll be able to very quickly skip ahead and finish off a lot of the uh, tier 5 stuff. And while we're waiting for it to load in, if you uh, want to leave any comments about what you would like me to make a video of, uh, that would be highly appreciated. Um, we have some other tidbits to do with engineering which I'm going to release soon um, and then I'm still working away on uh, compiling a fair few of my videos together to try and make it into a, a nice seamless video which is um, entertaining and educational so you know Normandy I mean Normandy I mean Normandy here we go Wish me luck. This is going to be fun. Thank you for sponsoring the monster. <laughs> Alright then. And then that side. We're going to we're going to take it easy. There's no point playing a super sweaty game. I don't think we've got any sort of four stack situation. Got a there are a few on our team by the look of it. Mm, three or four, maybe five. Actually, they're Japanese, uh, yeah, Chinese or Japanese, I'm not sure. But that's not good. Um, it, not in the sense that they're Chinese or Japanese, sorry, that came out wrong. Uh, in the sense that um, they may be very good. They may be very good indeed. Building the rally point is boring too, but you gotta do it. Where's my whole my whole squad is dead and I didn't even notice and die. Um. Yeah, I just built one, you moron. Uh, let's see if there's there anybody to shoot a uh, capping the point already. Yes, you. Oi. Stay still. Thank you. Wow. Yes. My shooting needs to wake up a little bit. There you are. Any more? I mean, come on, guys. I, I ran out. Go build a uh, Jump back in and. Um, lovely. I mean, at least they built the barbed wire. Ah. At least they built the barbed wire. <sighs> oh, here's a good point. Actually, we could cover the machine. We could build some heavy machine gun nests Ooh, on top of this roof. Will that actually work? Oh, seriously? Yeah. Oh, what a guess! What a guess! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it would be him. He's going to be the one hiding in the bushes, shooting me from behind. Pretty much the entire game, I guarantee it. Splendid. Marvellous. Okay, now we know down there is a death trap, right? Oi, come back, I just want to shoot you in the face. Scream, yikes! Fucking Jesus Christ! <laughs> that actually scared me. So, all clear, all clear, and shelter in my face. What the? And we've lost her. Well done. 
everybody well done. It was um, biblical. Yeah, we're gonna release this as well. They're just gonna steamroll us, I feel. And we're back. Unfortunately, I just got a phone call and had to run away mid-game. Uh, yeah. This is one of the reasons why I, I can't play enlisted anywhere near as much as I want to. Because even if I do, game starts, five, ten minutes later, my phone rings, I have to run off. And sometimes I get kicked from, kicked from the game. Ah, you know. At this point, I'm, base I'm in third place, but we're griefing. I I'm doing nothing at this point. I don't mean to be. But, you know, that's real life for you. So we'll just uh, hope <laughs> we manage to score enough points, I guess. And this is the reality of some of the gameplay in Enlisted. <laughs> You just get stomped sometimes, <coughs> even if you try. Real life distractions can get in the way, all sorts of stuff can make it a lot harder. Ugh. See, the problem is with this map, especially, it's... Oh, good god. Only the new players... Ah. Only the new players don't know it. Everybody else knows it inside and out. Like... This map's been here, what, for like two years plus? Everybody's always doing the same thing. Oh. There is a, an issue with the maps um, and the AI. I, I, I have to really state that issue with it, it's, it's so prevalent at this current point in time, it's starting to annoy me. Once you've been playing for long enough, it's the two things that stick out the most. Uh, how frustrating the AI are to use and um, how the maps basically just work. The, you don't. Uh, I'm just going to build it here, sort of. There's no point in even trying in this because um, you get what I mean. It says once the maps are known and you get to high tier, it just becomes a, a back and forth, a very competitive game. Um, it stops being fun. And that, that's exactly why the player base is now sticking to low tier because that's the only way you can sit around and have some fun and I think that sucks because I want to have fun at high tier as well and um, I don't want to constantly have the issue of I'm dead um, basically being stuck with having to have sweaty games because everybody knows the maps and they're just on the other I don't know they're gonna have to up uh, the amount of stuff that you have in tier 5 and, and increase in a, in a sense the maps as well, they, they just need to add more. They need to um, give us enough and almost enough coming in on a regular basis so that um, it changes it up. But I mean, we could have it so that we're, um, oh, I don't know, like not the other way around, but like at a slight angle or something like that. So we're coming across like that way rather than straight from across the beach or something like that, we could, you know, have a bit more variation and maybe just like, you know, have a couple more of these Normandy maps, so, you know, like different beach sets, and then whenever it chooses Normandy, it chooses one of the four different map sets, so you're not always like stuck it. Again, eventually the same thing will happen, people will learn it, and it will get, um, to the same point, but if you keep changing and variating it, at least then you uh, you don't get stuck in a similar situation where you're just like, all right, okay, now we're gonna get steamrolled again, <sighs> time and time again. But you know, we'll just have to wait and see what they do. Is there a point in doing anything at this point? Just basically been talking for the entire game <laughs> and and running away from it. <laughs> so um, dead. see. I just can't do anything. I can't do anything. 
goddamn P47 comes in, they come in with, they just, that's how you win a game though, you come in with one attack, then a different attack from a different side, then you overwhelm them from the ground, like I mean, they're doing it textbook. She's good for them, congratulations, whoop de doo Not fun for the rest of us though, is it? That was pointless. Well, well, this is this was just pointless <laughs> game, basically. That's it. I I had the feeling straight from the beginning. The moment I saw Normandy, I was just like, ah, oh, this is just gonna be shit. It's just gonna be shit. Normandy got high tier. It's just crap. It's not fun. You hear me? Normandy high tier, not fun. Several maps. That's what I was saying earlier. Several maps. The moment you get into high tier, they're just not fun. Oof. It's just no no point in playing. May as well just immediately go. All oh, right, dessert. But they don't want you to do that. So yeah, counterintuitive. Then you have to sit there and play a fucking shitty, sucky game like that. Anyway, amazingly, because of all the boosters I had, I did manage to finish the research. Even though that was arguably the worst game of enlisted I've probably ever played. So, uh, GG everybody, apparently somehow I still got the best builder in 21 engineer score, even though I left the bloody game. Are you serious? I mean, they didn't even get much engineer score at all, they just, they didn't even need to, they just steamrolled over us with the right tactics. Anyway, GG everybody. Finally, the sniper NKB, now I can finally get, although I do like the, the sniper FG42, uh, there's, yes. Been waiting to get this one, still have to research it, but at least it's now there. Hopefully, in the next video, I'll have it. Don't know if I'll even be playing Axis in the next video, and I don't know when the next video will be actually. Um, hopefully, within the next couple of days, uh, we'll just wait and see how life plays out. So, Sniper MKB finally, Aha, new squad with it. And I cannot find the score to save my life. Oh, that, right, okay, they are actually indicated. Ah, yes, rank 5, wonderful. We'll swap them for the, yeah, yeah, for the submachine gunners, but we'll do that later. First off, we'll finish the video and say thank you guys very much for watching. And we'll, um, yeah, we'll catch you guys. Okay. They look awful, and yeah, I did it on purpose uh, because I was tired. I just thought, you know what, I'm gonna make my guys look really silly. Let's uh, let's put over trench shorts and that. But yeah, at least we got some battle boosters for the next couple of hours, and um, maybe I'll be able to finish off the German tech tree before the next battle pass arrives. That'll be nice. Yeah. Anyway, this has been Nostrobogulus Gaming, and um, it's been fun playing Enlisted again, even though there's not really much point other than the, uh, yes, we have the events and so on and so forth. Um, Thompson 30 Cal, that's a good one, you know. Other than that, I'm not all that interested in any of this, really. I'll, I'll play for the fun of it and to have a bit of extra silver, but come what may. So, yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.